channel our most essential learning competency for today is compute probabilities corresponding to a given random variable let's have these examples one tai tai senior high school's bakery is known for its famous filipino delicacies one of the delicacies is the kakalin or leche puto the owner recorded the number of boxes of leche puto that were delivered each day the number of boxes delivered for 10 days is shown below. So this one. Question. What is the probability that 40 or more boxes will be delivered on a day? What is the probability that the number of boxes delivered will be at least 37 but not more than 50? How do we do that? Okay. So we have day 1 to day 10. We have here the corresponding number of boxes. Remember that our random variable is, of course, the x, which is the number of boxes delivered each day. Okay, so we have 35 here. We have 37. We have 40. We have 42. We have 45. And, of course, we have 50. Okay, so that is the first step that you will do. You have to create a table like this. Two-column table. The first column will be, of course, the random variable x. And the second column will be p of x. That is, of course, the probability of the random variable. How many times does 35 appear in there? We know that there are 10. So, obviously, our denominator here is 10 because there are 10 days here. So, this is 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. Now, how many times does 35 appear there? So, meaning we get the frequency. We have 1, 1 only. So, that is 1 over 10. And then 37, we have 1, 2, that's 2. And then 40, we have 1. And then 42, we have 1, 2. And then 45, we have 1, 2, 3. And 50, we have 1. Now, remember that in our previous lesson, we have identify that the probability should be equal to 1. The sum of all probabilities should be equal to 1. That is the summation of P of X is equal to 1. Let us verify whether this one is really equal to 1. We have 1 plus 2 plus 1. That is 4 plus 2, 6 plus 3, 9 plus 1, 10. So this one is 10 over 10 or equal to 1. So this one is really a probability distribution. Okay, let us now compute, of course, the probabilities corresponding to the given variable. So this is the question. What is the probability that 40 or more boxes will be delivered on a day? So if we are going to represent this, it says here 40 or more, meaning to say 40 is included. So, this is P of X is greater than or equal to 40 because of the word more, 40 or more. So, that is represented by X is greater than or equal to 40. Now, how are we going to get the probability of this? What are these numbers greater than or equal to 40? Of course, we have here 40. That is P of 40 plus P of 42 plus P of, of course, 45 plus P of 50. So, P of 40, we have 1 over 10 
P of 42, we have 2 over 10. P of 45, we have 3 over 10. And P of 50, we have 1 over 10. So meaning, P of X is greater than or equal to 40 will be, you just add all the numerators, copy the denominator, we have here, 7 over 10. 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 1, 7 over 10. What about number 2? What is the probability that the number of boxes delivered will be at least 37 but not more than 50? So how are we going to represent it? That is P of, this one is the random variable, that is less than 50 but greater than or equal to, of course, 37. Take note, when we say at least, meaning 37 is included. In here, not more than 50. So therefore, we will not be including the 50 here. So this is equal to, what are these numbers? Between 37 and 50, 50 is not included. So 37, we have P of 37 plus P of 40 plus P of 42 plus P of 45. We will not be including, of course, 50 because if 50 is included, it should be at most 50, okay? The statement should be at most 50. So we have here P of 37 is, of course, 2 over 10 plus the corresponding probability for this is 1 over 10 plus this is 2 over 10 plus 3 over 10. So we have 2 plus 2, 4 plus 4, 8. So this one is 8 over 10. P of X, which is less than 50 but greater than or equal to 37, is of course 8 over 10. Example number 2. The number of cell phones sold per day at Power Max Center has the following probability distribution. Find number one, P of X is greater than or equal to two. Number two, P of X is less than or equal to three. Three, P of X is less than or equal to four, but greater than or equal to one. And of course, number four, P of two plus P of four. This is already a probability distribution, meaning to say the sum of this 5 is equal to 1. We will not be verifying anymore because it says here probability distribution. Let us find number 1. P of x is greater than or equal to 2. So this one is equal to, of course, greater than or equal to 2, meaning to say 2 is included. We have P of 2 plus P of 3 plus P of 4 because these are the numbers greater than or equal to 2. And the corresponding probability for P of 2 is of course 0 0.25 plus 0 0.30 plus 0 0.20. So therefore, this one is equal to, this one is 0.50, this one is 0 0.75. That is number one. Remember that probability should be between zero and one. So 0.75 is between zero and one. Number two, we have P of X is less than or equal to three. So what are these numbers less than or equal to three? We have P of three, P of two, P of one, and P of 0. So we have here P of 3 is of course 0 0.30. P of 2 is 0 0.25. P of 1 is 0 0.10. P of 0 is 0 0.15. So adding this, we have here 0 0.55, 0 0.65, and then point. 0.65 plus 0.15 is 0.80. Number three, we have P of X is less than or equal to 4, but greater than or equal to 1. So what are these numbers? We have between 1 and 4. We have P of 1, 
plus p of 2 plus p of 3 plus p of 4. So this one is equal to what is the corresponding probability for this? We have 0.10 plus 0.25 plus 0.30 plus 0.20. So adding all in all, we have 50, we have 0 0.85. And for the last one, number 4, P of 2 plus P of 4. So meaning you will just be adding the 2, P of 2, the corresponding probability for this is 0.25 and P of 4 is 0.20. Adding the 2, we have 0 0.45. That's it.